be talking about right now is again on the mosque issue uh, the thing I have a problem about the whole thing is this claim that Muslims are trying to take over sacred ground in which this sacred ground is of course ground zero again with facts ground zero is not being replaced with a mosque that's fact number one fact number two it's not a mosque it's a cultural center any religion any color anybody can go in they've even got a basketball court come on they want to call it a mosque while wow, they've got a prayer center up in the top for, for specifically Muslims. Who the fuck cares? In fact, number three. What else is near the sacred ground? Strip bars. That's that's sacred, all right. Now, of course, these are all facts that these people are going to deny. They're not going to listen. I mean. They really don't care. This is just. This is nothing about a mosque. Okay. This is about these white racists trying to tell other people where they can and can't be. That's all it is. Now, the problem I have about this sacred ground controversy is. Where do they have any room to talk about people taking over sacred grounds? This is where I come in and give you guys a little history lesson. How about the sacred grounds located at the Lakota Black Hills? You know, home of Mount Rushmore. Here's Mount Rushmore for you. It's located, of course, Lakota Black Hills. Uh, it's well known for the Lakota, the Lakota Indian tribes. Uh, they've <laughs> got a president on there. Well, one thing, these are white. Let me first say that these are white presidents carved into the mountains of Indian ground. So to me that's one red flag because the white man has been particularly known of killing Indians especially around that time red flag number two it's got Abe Lincoln on it why is that a controversy sure he helped in slavery but he also get this was known during the Civil War to have a mass killing of 38, I, I believe, 38 Lakota men. Now, having his face on on Lakota tribe territory, his face carved on there, that's a red flag. That's red flag number two. Number three, who carved it? Well, that's right. Goodson Borglum. A man known to having connections with the Ku Klux Klan. Anybody else see the problem here? So, which sacred ground? What sacred ground? Who? Where do white people have any any reason to talk about sacred grounds being taken over when it was us who took over someone else's sacred ground. 